right, so as we all know, I have this side done. Now I'm wondering about that side. So this was originally on that side and had the EGR tube and the little bolts they are angled like this down there and if I flip it it would run into the, the brake booster right here so I can't do that so I'm going to have to cut and re-angle the tubes just like I did on that side I'm wondering if I do the same thing I did over there have the pipe 90ing up I wonder if I'll be able to flip it and have it 90ing up over here if I wanted to that would be cool so I could either have turbos up here or have this routed over here to one big turbo for maximum air velocity and spool time I don't know I'd have to either get two small turbos or one bigger turbo that's cool you got the best of both worlds right there good stuff time to get to cutting it's a little different than the other side I got one off I guess that's decent it's got an angle just have to make sure it'll get behind that steering right there all three of them and there's number two just slight angle now I just need to Drill some squares to put each of those exhaust ports in. There we go. Got a lot more done. A lot more done. Yeah, that's a lot of work. It took a lot of time. And down here. Through there and down there. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Time to get that pay. I haven't seen one of these in years, y'all. Is that a lightning bug? That's a trip. <laughs> Holy crap. That's amazing. One of life's amazing creatures. I didn't know they glowed green. I thought it was usually yellow. Crazy. Awesome. Alright, got a piece of pipe. Taking the ex normal exhaust flange that I cut off. Measured it out. I'm going to cut a square so it'll slide in there and I can weld it in there while it's still in the car. Now that it's cooled off some. I can put my shirt back on. Oh, uh, yay, we put his shirt back on. Now I can take off my glasses, my son's, my blindfold. Yay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> little haters. Little hater gators. Port number one. Port number one. As of right now, it's too long, so I need to cut it right there, or else it'll bump into the steering and the bell housing. That being said, I'd take my shirt off again. It's getting hot. Oh no, I took your shirt off again. Everybody, cover your eyes. Oh! Got that shortened. The second one ready to be cut before the lines. But before we do that, workout time. Pretty 
get your weights, do some curls. Got to get the muscles going. Never know when you got to pick something heavy up, lift it straight up. You know, never know when you got to throw it. Never know if you got to punch somebody in the face or something. Like, ha boom! <laughs> ha boom! <laughs> Just playing, you know. Got to get your swole on, do the forearms, a little bit of the triceps, do some weird stuff. If you don't feel the burn, you ain't doing it right. Working a little bit of forearms, you know. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. Do little shoulders, sideways. <laughs> Get your swole on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're back from that shenanigans. Never know when you have to remove your power steering. You gotta muscle your car. So let's get hole number two. Damn it. Just wondering why my shoe felt loose. <laughs> God. I guess I accidentally cut it. I don't know how with the Dremel or whatever that angle grinder, but oh well, guess I'll tie it sideways. Works for me. Well, I have to weld onto that pipe I was showing you now, so time to back up the car. I wonder if it'll be okay doing so with Positrack. Have to get as close to that welding machine as possible. I feel like I have a much better throttle response with no exhaust and no intake. I like that. Time for number three, man. Got the car sitting all kind of crooked, getting ready to be welded. Gosh, that's nice, ain't it? Time to get some tack welds in. Alright, I was able to easily pull it out with a little wiggling. But, yeah. So I've got some gaps there from trying to fit it in right. And, uh, so if you see big blobs of welds, that's from me putting like little pieces of metal over it and welding over it to seal up the gap like band-aids so it's all good went ahead and welded the angle onto here. I have to cut the Y off. And I might use it to tie in as the the piping for the intake. This So this needs to get cut off so the other turbo can slide onto it. Or I can make a flange. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I got it a little too high, so I have to cut about an inch off, inch or two. Yeah, now that you know it sits over here and one can sit over here. Getting so close to Twin Turbo Town. Yeah, buddy. Let me show you something stupid I did when I was welding onto there and that little angle coming up. Man. You see all that flash burn from the welding? Well... Look at my clutch cable. Right there, you can see the wires. You can see the burns. 
I think those are unaffected, but look at the boot to the, the steering. It all caught on fire. Well, I don't know if it caught on fire or not, but it sure melted it all into a pile of ash. And all that right there is the power steering fluid. It was always leaking into the the boot. The tie rod boot. But yeah. That's pretty bad. I need to get that thing sealed up anyways, so... Either way, it would have to come off. Probably get replaced anyway, so... <laughs> At least it saved me the trouble, huh? That's just me looking at the bright side. Even though I have to get a better look at those wires, make sure none of those are in the open. Don't want any fires started. I came out here and I smelled something. I was thinking, that doesn't smell like my welding. Then I had to come look, and I looked down after I took the pipe off. I was like, whoa, that is not supposed to be like that. And then I saw it way down there, and it's all piled down there. Yeah, so hopefully that wire's right there is okay, and really hopefully this clutch cable is okay. Guess we'll find out when I try and put it in gear. Or when I try and leave it in neutral and it's taken off. We'll find out real quick. question for you. What is a turtle doing way out here in the middle of the woods? There's no water around here. Crazy. I'm really still not sure how I want to do the intake, guys. Do I want it plumbed into here? So I can get more pressure right off the bat. So I have it, the turbo right here. Come down at an angle around here. Basically like a mini intercooler. I'll get an intercooler later so I can run more boost. And plumb it up here straight into the turbo. Have pressure forced into there. Every revolution gets more pressure. As it builds boost by itself and then pushes into there. I don't know. Sure would be cool. I, I guess you could put a nitrous in here to cool the intake charge and then or methanol. Something. I don't know. I'll figure this out another time when I get more money. Sure is cool stuff though. I've got all kinds of ideas I'm thinking about. Oh well, until next time. Got the left side and the right side. Need to straighten it up a little bit, but I got this, don't worry. Until next time, one step closer to being done.